This week in Drone News, we have three stories for you. The first one is the GAO, the Government Accountability Office, says that the FAA needs to stop dragging its feet on the U.S. integration. Yikes. And then the new Pika Pelican cargo drone, large drone. And then lastly, Flytrap is getting their Part 135 certification. Let's get to it. Your first story this week is a little bit of sizzle between two government agencies. The first one is the Government Accountability Office that released a report that says that the FAA needs to work harder to integrate UAS into the national airspace system. Uh, additionally, the GAO also says that the FAA needs to better communicate the requirements and reduce the confusion when applying enforcing regulation. And, you know, quite frankly, I have to say that I have to agree a little bit with that one. Now, the GAO said that they're making four recommendations, but before I go any further in here, I do want to mention that there's a little bit of irony to this. One government agency telling another government agency that they need to be better at communicating with, well, in this case, drone pilots. Um, let's go ahead and read the quote of what the GAO came up with, and then you tell me if this qualifies as good communication. Develop a drone integration strategy that includes all elements of a comprehensive strategy. I'm not joking, this is what they said. The second thing they said is evaluate its current documentation to identify options to more clearly communicate how applicants can satisfy drone operational request requirements and FAA's process for reviewing and approving operational requests. I have no idea what I just read. And quite frankly, I actually reread this quote four or five times. I think what they mean is that the FA needs to be a bit more clear about how to apply for waivers and how to apply for exemptions. And that I have to agree with. It's a bit of a mess right now. If you want to apply, it's a, it's a one-off. Everybody gets kind of a different approval, kind of a, a, a different rejection if you get a rejection. So yes, I think the FA definitely needs to work on that. I'm pretty sure everybody at the FA involved with this would actually agree that it can be a little bit easier, but I think their hands are tight on a lot of different things. So if you want to learn more about this document from the GEO, I actually recommend that you download the document. It's a lot of government talk, let's put it this way. All right, let's move on to the next story. Now, your second story this week is a newly released drone from Pika. It's called a Pelican Cargo Drone. Uh, the company is based in California. They say that the uh, the drone has a range of 200 miles and then a usable cargo load of 400 pounds uh, and then also 66 cubic feet of cargo space. Now, obviously, this is not your typical drone. This is a much larger drone. Uh, they said they're currently in testing and that Pika has secured some pre-commitment for at least 80 orders orders, which is really cool. The cargo is fully electric and the goal is to deliver to remote locations and then to reduce the time and energy required to deliver or move cargo. Uh, this is actually one application where I'm glad uh, to see that drones are going to be uh, starting to do some of the work. And your third story this week is Flytrex uh, that has received a Part 135 certificate for drone delivery, specifically to deliver fast food. Uh, they say that they will allow to deliver drone to uh, 82 million people across the U.S. Uh, they've already partnered with Jersey Mike's, Taco Bell, Starbucks, uh, Papa Jones, and Wendy's. Now, this is a great way to turn your $8 Starbucks into a $10 Starbucks. All right, we'll see how this is actually going to do as far as drone delivery uh, for fast food as opposed to other deliveries. Uh, we reported on the last couple of weeks on some uh, trouble on that site, so uh, we hope that they actually succeed on that. All right, that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and then I'll see you next week. You have a great weekend to identify options to more clearly communicate how per, uh, I'm gonna let me do that again